Okay, this is the tourism exercise walkthrough for the Sec4 Express paper. This is for the pure as well as the elective geography students. For this question, the question actually focuses on the effect after Katrina hit New Orleans in 2005. Um, there is a graph given for question 1a. You are told to describe the changes in the tourism employment. Now, key thing to note here, it is tourism employment that is shown on the graph, not tourism numbers. However, there is a clear link that can be made between tourism employment and tourism numbers. As you can see from the figure, it is important to talk about the initial phase of gradual increase prior to the event happening. Uh, it is also very important to highlight the massive drop between the months in uh, 2005 and early 2006 where Katrina hit and immediately there was an after effect. And the third section you should be talking about is post-2006 where there is again a slight increase. Final thing to note about this uh, question 1a here, the instructions is to describe the changes in tourism employment, therefore there is actually no need to link it back to the reasons for this drop, uh, you are simply required to state the increase amount and estimate of the numbers employed in tourism for the different points that you have highlighted in the figure. Okay, thank you. For question 1b, the highlight uh, of this question is why would the, this disaster deter future tourists? So your answer must focus on the impact of this particular type of disaster which is a uh, hurricane and the subsequent flooding and why is it that it will indirectly affect tourists from returning immediately after it. So now the important thing about flooding and uh, post Katrina particularly in New Orleans is when you have large-scale flooding and your levees are broken you have a lot of disease, waterborne disease that's present in the water itself and even though the water can be drained relatively quickly within a month or two the after effects of the waterlogged area the buildings getting destroyed, buildings getting waterlogged and disease now this potential of uh, disease breeding in the area after the, the disaster has been the main reason for tourist numbers not returning to its original levels quickly so this has to be highlighted in your answer question 2 question 2 is very clear it, uh, it's an 8 mark open-ended question with a statement development of technology in transport particularly that of commercial jet airplanes has been the most important reason for the growth of mass tourism since the 1950s to what extent do you agree with this statement now gentle reminder uh, you need to talk about the given factor, in this case, uh, rise in technology, specifically commercial jet airplanes, and then growth of mass tourism. When explaining the given factor, uh, you need to talk about the fact that the planes nowadays, the jet planes are faster, safer, and can transport even more people at the same time. Now that is the key thing. You have to link that back to mass tourism. What are the requirements of mass tourism? Uh, the large amount of people that have been transported, group tours so there must be a very clear link made between these two items subsequently your contrast factors can be things like uh, demand factors like change in change in lifestyle increase in disposable income increase in leisure time you need to have that full explanation of the given factor as well as one or two contrast factors preferably two contrast factors so that you can substantiate your stand that you take okay so that is the general crux for the 8 mark open-ended question. This type of uh, agreement, extend, do you agree with this statement question? So thank you once again. This is uh, Tourism Exercise 8. Tourism Exercise 8. Uh, I hope that this, this will clarify the success criteria quite a bit for you. And for those of you who have done the exercise already, hopefully this will allow you to look at your answers and know what's wrong, what's missing. Um, once again, please subscribe to the channel and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you.